So there are about to be six of those state-sanctioned mass vaccination sites. One is already up and running on the western slope. Mesa County's health department had been filling appointments with anybody who wants the shot, even us peasants who are back in the general population phase at the end. Before you start driving tomorrow for the West Slope, Best Slope, our Marshall Zellinger found out they might have to quit doing that. The vaccine sign-up page for Mesa County's website allows you to fill in a bubble for any phase, even the 16 and older phase two, which the state has not authorized to get shots yet. Up until this morning, if you chose that option, you might have been able to get an appointment. We want every single slot filled up. In doing that, we, we switch between phases. You know, we've been in 1B4, and if we've got spots to fill, then we will open it up to phase two most recently. Jeff Coor is Mesa County Public Health's executive director. He explained that if the appointments days in advance are not filling up, Mesa County's been filling those slots with anyone, even though we're still in 1B3 until tomorrow. We do know, however, there are some tighter restrictions when it comes to being a state site. So I don't want to give the impression that we are open to two because we will have to run now with the levels at which the state is in. Here's how it worked and how it may continue to work. If there are no appointments available, Mesa County provides this interest form to fill out. If appointments open up or are not being filled days in advance, the county reaches out to the people on the interest list, no matter their phase. We'll send a thousand people an email with a link to go out and then schedule their uh, vaccine appointment. The Grand Junction Convention Center is giving 1,600 doses a day. As a state-run site, it's slated to give up to 6,000 a day. Once 1B4 officially opens tomorrow, the likelihood of open appointments decreases with more than 2 million vying for spots statewide. A spokesperson for state public health said, if a county wants to expand prioritization because of a lack of demand, we are willing to have that conversation. But that would come after the county has demonstrated a good faith effort to reach currently eligible Coloradans. Right now, only 55 percent of people 70 plus in Mesa County are fully vaccinated. We want to vaccinate as many people as possible and if it means that we're tapping into another group to make that happen. But at the same time, Marshall, I will mention that we've got efforts that are going on to recruit individuals 65 and over. Here's how quickly I can ruin it for everyone. During the interview, I was able to access the appointment scheduling for someone 16 and over. At the end of the interview, 15 minutes later, it was no longer active. I'm told it's not because of my questions, but rather guidance from the state. And the state public health department confirms for me that it had follow-up conversations with Mesa County, Kyle. Oh, man, you've had some follow-up conversations with me before. I know what that means. Uh, so, Marshall, this is a delicate dance that these counties and these providers <laughs> go through because you don't want to have shots sitting around. But at the same time, if you truly just do first come, first serve and keep going broader and broader and broader, you're going to get tech-savvy people and you're going to get people of means and not necessarily those who need the vaccine most urgently. And it's probably moot now. I had asked if you have this waiting list, do you look at the next person on the list or do you say, oh, that person's 23. I'm going to go for the next person who's 40 or 50. They didn't really have an answer for that. The other answer, I guess the state is saying, don't open the vial, keep it in the freezer. Perhaps you give five or six fewer doses that day and you wait till the next day. I can see the arguments both ways, Kyle. For sure. All right, Marshall, thank you so much.